Hey everyone, me Kevin here on the new stimulus package. Let's take a look at the actual language for unemployment and which portions are getting boosted. What do we want to pay attention to? Well, we're going to make this one easy. We're going to jump directly into the unemployment boost section. First thing first, extension of federal P-U-C, and that is pandemic unemployment compensation. This has to do with the boost. And here's the language for the boost. The expiration will be, instead of March 14th, 2021, it will now be August 29th. So that would be the week ending August 29th is when unemployment will expire. This is different from through September, which is what Joe Biden had mentioned sort of on the campaign trail during the Georgia runoff elections. It looks like he got whittled back to essentially the end of August rather than through the fiscal year of the United States, which does end September 30th of every calendar year. Uh, the boost will go up to $400. There is no retroactivity, though, to that $400. So it's not like you're going to get an extra $100 per week going retroactively for all those weeks you got $300. It's just literally for everything uh, for weeks ending, March, ending after March 14th. And before August 29th, you will get a $400 per week boost. Now, one of the first questions that came up for me in this section was, hey, what about that extra $100? A quick, by the way, example as to how that extra $100 boost works. I mean, by now, you probably already know because you're either getting it or not. But in case you're not getting it and you're wondering like, wait, what extra $100 boost? How does that work? Okay, so here's just a quick example. Let's say you're self-employed and you're a realtor and you usually make, I don't know, $50,000 a year. But you also have a W-2 job and you make $10,000 a year because you're working at, let's say, Red Robin. I used to work at Red Robin, Bus and Tables, and so on. Uh, but anyway, technically, because you're employed, you don't qualify for as much state employment, and you get halved in terms of how much uh, unemployment pay you can get with your self-employment income. And so there are fancy calculations that go into this. The bottom line is, Congress has said, if you're in this kind of situation, and you have at least $5,000 of self-employment income, and you're referred to as essentially a mixed earner, you would be eligible potentially for this extra $100 on top of the boost. This is where that came from. It actually came from this section right here, which is on page 33 of the old bill, the $600 bill, uh, which obviously that's, that's old news. That has already passed. But here it's called Section 261 Mixed Earner Unemployment Compensation. And this is where you get an extra $100 in any case in which the individual receives at least $5,000 of self-employment income. Uh, so if you have that, uh, but you're, you're getting a larger, you would also have a W-2 job, you might be eligible for the extra $100. Uh, and so this section here, that becomes very important uh, because basically I lined these sections up. I wanted to see, is that $100 boost also getting extended? And whether or not that survives is actually a little bit tricky to read. I think I figured it out because the only placed mixed earner unemployment is mentioned is up here. And that has to do with disregarding uh, additional compensation for purposes of Medicaid and CHIP. So it doesn't really tell us if that extra $100 boost is going to continue. So what I did is I went over here to these sections and basically what they're doing is they're amending section 2104E2 of the CARES Act and putting in these new dates. Uh, and they're also adding these new dates for section 2104B which 2104B is exactly, going back to the old bill, where the mixed earner status was amended in by the $600 bill. So in other words, I'm pretty sure the $100 boost for people in that situation will also be extended through the 29th. But it's ridiculous how they're doing it because basically the way they do it, it's like, here's the CARES Act. Oh, let's amend in the mixed earner thing. And then now here's the $1,400 bill. And they're like, okay, cool. Let's amend in a revised date. It's a mess how Congress does it. But if you're wondering about that $100 boost, I'm pretty confident. I'd say 90 plus percent confident the way I've read this here that that $100 mixed boost will get extended through August 29th as well. Okay, sorry, <laughs> that took a while on just that one section there. Uh, extension of full federal funding for the first week of uh, unemployment. Usually you have to wait a week to start getting your unemployment compensation. That was replaced by the CARES Act where they're basically giving you that money a week earlier than you would ordinarily get it. That is being extended. Then we are also seeing the extension of PEUC, the Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation. That's your state eligibility, and that is extended from 24 weeks to 48 weeks. 
uh, also the August 29th date here. Then we have an extension here of short-term compensation will also be extended to August 29th. Short-term compensation, uh, another popular one. And then any kind of the FFCRA unemployment provisions, those are also being extended through August 29th. So really the big takeaway is August 29th, uh, $400 boost, not retroactive, starting on the 14th of March. And that $100 boost, if you're in that mixed earner category, should be there as well. Pretty confident of that. Uh, not 100% on that one though, because the way they write this stuff is insane. Uh, then we've got, let's see, extension of full federal funding of extended unemployment compensation all the way through August 29th as well. Uh, and that's pretty much the gist of it for the unemployment section. So the unemployment section out of the other ones actually takes a whole lot less to explain. Uh, pretty straightforward, kind of what we expected, but good for you to actually see it in black and white. All right, stay tuned. I have so far reviewed the $1,400 stimulus check, the special details for that, the child care tax credit. I will link those. Uh, you, you'll see them up here in the corners or uh, just go to the stimulus playlist on my channel and you'll see them. Obviously, now we've done unemployment. I'll go into the other sections as well. Stay tuned.